during the Advent season we reflect on what it means that God has come into this world in Jesus and Advent means arriving or coming and it has this sense of us hoping and anticipating um, God's coming into the world and we're, we're looking forward to the second coming of Jesus but we're also reflecting on his incarnation and today I've been reflecting on what the Christmas story tells us about who Jesus is, particularly through the lens of the Magi. They were philosophers who were told came from the East to worship. They were guided by that star. And they have a very clear sense, even though they're not Jewish, they're not um, people who've been raised reading, reading the Old Testament. We don't have a sense that in particular they've worshiped Yahweh before, but yet they're drawn to Jesus because Jesus is the truth and that means that he's the truth for everyone, whoever we are, whatever our cultural or religious backgrounds and might say about us. I have a friend who's Chinese and she became a Christian when she came to Oxford and she was studying at, at the University of Oxford. She gave her life to Christ and her parents really struggled with that. They thought, you know, how, how can you follow Jesus? This is so different from our culture. But eventually they began to come round to her Christian faith and they said to her, um, when we pray to our ancestors, we're going to add Jesus in when we pray for you so that he's there. And as a Christian, she felt a bit uncomfortable about that because she believes Jesus' statement, I'm the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So she said, you know, Mum and Dad, I'd prefer you wouldn't do that. I, I don't really think I want you to add Jesus on to the ancestors. And they said, well, why not? Is Jesus so insecure? He can't be worshipped with others. And she said, well, think about it this way. Imagine that you're back in China and I'm in Oxford and there's a, a, a couple who just happened to be there. And I tell everybody around me that this couple are my parents, that they're mom and, my mum and dad. How would you feel about that? And they said, well, we'd feel sad. And she said, well, it's the same really, because Jesus is God and he's the only way. It would be dishonouring to him and I wouldn't want to displease him to say that he's alongside all of these ancestors or these, or these other gods. So um, I thought that analogy was, was really helpful. It's significant, it's important that Jesus is the truth and this is true for everyone of every nation. The Bible says that people of every tribe and language and nation and tongue will worship Jesus on the last day. Jesus is God, he's God with us and that is true for the whole world, whatever our culture, whatever our background, whatever our presuppositions. And so that's the significance of the Magi, of these philosophers coming and recognising Jesus as truth and Jesus as God with us. So why not reflect on that today as you prepare your heart for Advent, what it means that God who is truth has come into this world in Jesus.